Okay. I could have sworn there was some piece I'm supposed to get back in the old... <sighs> and this is, this is blind, so I have no idea what to do. Let's see. I'll, I guess I'm just going to have to go back and... Just gonna have to go back. Wait a minute, what if I go upstairs? Is there a scary ghost girl gonna be up there? I swear, if there's a scary ghost girl, I will freak out. I will, f especially since Michelle's not here anymore, I will freak out. Anything up here? No drawer? No nothing? Darn. <sighs> I really hope at some point I get like a really cool shotgun and I can upgrade it, but... If not, I'll just enjoy this as best as I can. Let's see. Okay. This is where it gets scary. I know it does. You first. Need a nice hero, nice hero yep. He's a goner. So, uh, he is a goner. You first. Well, be prepared. That scar from Lion King would say, be prepared. I see death, that's what I see. Death is what's down here. Fuck that, I'm going back up. Nope. He's dead. Darn. You need some clear eyes to sort that out. This message has been brought to you by the Resident Evil Emergency Alert. Jesus. It wasn't Jesus, believe me. Alright, now let's see. I wish I would have watched the demo before I done this, but I... See, there, there's a, there's a, there's a double-edged sword to blind let's plays. Uh, is you get authentic reactions, reactions, which is good, and that part is great. You see people will react, but then there's the part where the viewer gets, can get frustrated when, when the person who's playing doesn't do as good of a job as someone who's played it knows, or even as good as when they played it the first time. Okay, I'm a dead man. Oh, that's right. Okay. Welcome to the most exciting video game Let's Play footage in the world. One where the Let's Play completely, completely what he's doing. And is not left in the dark, ironically. Okay. Well, I guess there's only one way I know to proceed from here. That is towards death. Okay, dead guys. I'm on my way towards death again. Uh, 
I that legit scared me. That freaked me out. Okay. Damn it. Okie dokie. Now I am playing at this at night, so that does make a difference. And at some point I will have to go to sleep, so this will do wonders when I go to sleep. I'll have now this is the exact type of environment the big giant tarantulas would be in in the originals. So I'm kind of freaking out about that. Let's see here. Let's see. Oh, into water. Yay! I love water. Here we go. Let's can we crouch down into the abyss? No. There we go. Now, the, actually, one of the scary parts about Resident Evil 5 was the crocodiles. Those would freak those freaked me out a little bit. But um, the croc I know something's gonna happen in the center of this. This is too long. Yep, I knew it. I called that. I called that. There's always something that happens in a long corridor. You know, because if if why take all that time to render it? and do all the graphics and all that for a long ho corridor if nothing's gonna yep I knew it I called it yeah that, that's what Michelle just said say it again Michelle they don't do that shit in documentaries <laughs> that's right that's that's why she doesn't mind watching the document oh wow okay this is straight up serial killer stuff up here okay let's see nothing's legible there's no action buttons okay so, so this kind of reminds me, and I've heard this before, is this, this is like a, hey, this is the one from the photo of where Mia was, or that picture was. Now, I know at some point I'm just going to flat out die, because, oh, I thought that was an axe there, darn. I'd feel much safer, oh, shoot. The, the freak? The fuck? Okay, whoa. Man, what did that guy eat? He ate syringes, it looks like. Let's get a closer look at a toilet. Yes. Oh, yeah, look at those curves. Um, anyways, it looks like there's med the medical syringes in there. Now, let's see. Is there anything in this cell can actually go into the cell? I want people like, you could have gone in the cell and got a machete, but no. No, you were, you were stupid. <laughs> anyway... There was an Uzi in that. <laughs> no. <laughs> there was a rocket launcher. Now, the rocket launcher only comes with the big bosses. Ooh, there's a bolt cutter. That's useful. There's a weird note. If I can get the angle on it right. Or press A. Pressing A is much better. Ben dead. Harold turned. Arthur turned. Tim returned. Craig dead. Leela dead. Sean. She of course, Sean is dead. Sean of the dead makes sense. William dead, Travis turned, Peter dead, Andre, Andre's dead, yep. Uh, this is a list of all the people. Resident, Resident Evil, Evil yeah. Zombies, yeah. Yeah, they've turned. I'm sorry. Yeah, bolt cutters, yay! I will bolt cut him to. That's okay, baby, you're fine. Um. So yep, and now sometimes after getting an item like that, this is typical in Resident Evil, something scary will pop up right after you get an item. I won't be surprised. Maybe I should go back to that cell and see if I can use the bolt cutters. Oh, there's an item right here. Yay. Now I have a feeling there's someone sleeping in there, so this might not be the best idea. Okay, now you close it behind us. Come on. Oh, nope. There's a lady in here. Lady. I, I can't sing the song. She's probably dead, yeah. Thank God I found you. It's me. It's Ethan. Ethan? Ethan? Are you alright? No. Whoa. What do you mean? You that's the lady from the. No, that's no, his no, wife. Lady. Wow. Did he see you? Your hair looks fairly decent except for the silver streaks in it. We need to go. Daddy? We need to go now. 
I know, got a while. I'm going to the cell door. I don't care. You're on your own now. I freed you. You should be thanking me. Nope. No way. Not even with a bolt cutter. Darn. I should have known there's no action button. You know, normally it pulls up something. Is there anything in here I can use? Okay. Doop doop doo herp a derp a der. Where are you taking me? Someplace safe. I'm taking you to where the guy the guy with the chains are. That's where I'm gonna take you. You can trust me, honey. I'm gonna take you to a nice safe place. This long scary corridor. Then I will take you to a pizza parlor. Weirdest first date I've ever been on. No. <laughs> Actually, this wouldn't be their first date. This would be the weirdest date they've ever been on. What? Something scary is going to pop up. I know it. Not now. We need to get out of here first. I think it's this way. I should turn on s subtitles. Language. Because I, I, I'm wearing headphones right now, a headset, and I can't hear the, the volume that good. I should probably turn the volume down anyways. Here we go. Okay, anything in the drawers I can use? Anything. Give me a machete. Give me a... a Sid you said you didn't. Sid you said you didn't. That wasn't me. I wasn't me. I called that. I called Twilight Zone. It's own own creepy pasta. How many looks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? Tell me, girl. Tell me. What is the meaning of life? Family used to bring me food through. Family. No family. Okay. Yep, cramp spaces. Typical horror. Okay. I'm just glad there's no spiders yet. I know at some point there's gonna be. But I just hope there are small piddly spiders that you find like in Resident Evil 4 and 5. This is it. This is the way to death, is what it is. Hey, sofa. There's another door here. I'm sure of it. It's not here. It's gone. E it's gone. E zero zero one. We're gonna be a family. Now that you're here. Ah, grandma in a wheelchair. They see me rolling. They hate it. It also reminds me of Stephen Hawking versus Albert Einstein from Epic Rap Battles of History. It looks almost looks a lot like that actually. Doesn't it, Michelle? It looks oh. like it looks like Stephen Hawking from in Albert oh, versus yeah. Albert Einstein, yeah. E E zero zero one. I think that's gonna be important. It's probably gonna be some passcode or some safe or computer or something. Are you ODing or something? What's going on? Uh, she's gonna turn. She's gonna turn, and it's not gonna be pretty. And she's gonna come back. Oh, I'm back. Oh, this is creepy. There's a freaking doll here. Dolls are creepy. You know what I say to this doll? I'm gonna teabag this doll. That's right. That's right. That's what you get, doll, for being creepy. Okay. Rotate. There's gonna be something in the back, I bet you. It looks like there's a doll of her. It's like a freaking voodoo doll. We're at, we are in Louisiana. In this, I think we're, if I remember correctly, I, I know very little. <sighs> okay. Mr. Baddie's got her. Mr. Bad Bad. And it's going to be a jump scare or something. Gonna be a jump scare, I know it. Oh 
I got it right? Or, yeah, let's see. Might have got it wrong this time. Let me see. Let's see on the map. Is there anywhere I can go from here? I think this is, wait a minute. There's that spot and there's this spot over here. But there's this spot. Shoot. Yep. Now normally going down is a scary part. Like in horror, in a typical horror thing, it'd be going down would be scary. But this time, well, that's not a horror one. But that's not a horror one. But that's a scary part. Okay, give me something to attack with. Give me anything. Nope. This is a good part of the horror survival horror is giving you very few resources to attack. I'd, I'd like an extra large four cheese stuffed crust pizza, please. And extra garlic sticks. Yeah, Michelle just said I'm making her hungry. Oh, hey. This is like, this reminds me of Zelda when he would get the compass in addition to the map and it would show you all the things. Like there's the bathroom, it's all labeled and everything. So that was the basement. This is the first floor. Surgical area. That, this, that sounds comforting. Um, bathroom. Boarded door. Let me see. There we go. Kitchen. Hidden passageway. Ooh. Let's see. Now there's a second floor. Third floor. Third floor is the attic. Okay. Something tells me that's going to be helpful later on when I'm... I'm um, stop before. Yeah, Michelle was was showing me something that was really good, and I had to stop. Uh, I'm gonna edit it. Oh, first aid med. Wow. Let me see what that stuff is. Okay, that stuff is okay. First aid med. I'm definitely gonna wanna to move it to a hot key, probably down. That's where I put it most of the time. Closes up wounds and promotes cell regeneration. Partially restores health. So if I lose a hand, I grow a hand. Captain Hook would love this stuff. Captain Hook would be Captain Hand. Which sounds wrong. Um, I've got Captain Hand to date. Alright, alright, alright. You're gonna get scared to date. I remember Markiplier's last let's play, he'd play, he was doing that. Yeah, my girlfriend and I, we, we really like, um, what, what's his name? Uh, the, the comedian? What, what's the comedian's name? That, Kevin Hart, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's Kevin Hart that does. This is scary. Oh, this is going back down. I don't need to go back down. Why would I want to go back down? Okay. Let's back to the basement. Okay, bedroom. They see me running. Okay. Can't open for some reason. Am I going to have to go back? Is that a thing? I'm going to have to go back, aren't I? I'm gonna have to backtrack. Now this is, this reminds me of the classic old survival horror Resident Evil ones, because you would have to backtrack like crazy. And I bet something's gonna pop up at me. That's how it works too. You backtrack and you think, well last time everything was fine this way. Shoot, she's crawling up. That is freaky. That's like the ring stuff. See? That's why I, that's why I watch documentaries. Yeah, I knew it was coming too. I knew the way he was moving slow, and yeah, it's his wife. She's turned on him. Ooh, give him a hand. All right, all right. That was my Jo hand. That was my Jo hand. 
You ruined my J.O. hand. You're gonna pay. Hey. I am furiously pointing at this right trigger button. Shoot, I am all messed up right now. I can hear her. I can feel her clawing her way back inside me. Fight it, you bitch. That's right, leave her alone. I'll get you Advil later, you'll be fine. Can't be worse than Glenn, I'll tell you that much. Okay, use first aid, right button. Oh, wow. Wow, that's a miracle cure, look at that. My right hand just got cleared up. I knew it. I called that, though. I called that. I knew it. That's a typical Resident Evil thing, too, especially back in the old ones. Now, I wonder if that opens up anything for me, or if she's going to come back and I'm going to have to fight her again. I swear. Do I get to open this up now? No, I have to backtrack again. I knew that was coming, though. That legitimately scared me. Even though I knew it was coming, I didn't know how it was coming. That was straight up, like, the ring grudge stuff coming at me. When it crawls up at you like that. Okay, where am I supposed to go? I can't go through the basement. Are we gonna be able to call the phone? Are we able to call the phone now? Hello, Neo. You all trapped in the Matrix. No, that's not working. Okay, is she gonna come back? I know what this is. I'll get you chocolate. You'll be okay. Um, um, that is a terrible joke, I am sorry, I take that back, I take that back, that was me trying to be funny, okay, let's see, once I get to a typewriter, I am in, in this, because I'm getting close, where, in, where am I supposed to go? I supposed to check on her? Yeah, I'm supposed to check on her. That's what it is. I knew it. Whoa. I knew it. Go. Shoot, there's a hatchet here. Alright. May I ask you a question, lady? I told you I'd get you chocolate. I told you. I'm gonna sleep well tonight. I'm gonna sleep just fine. Yep. The moment you get the critical strike, she turns back. Critical strike, she turns back. Figures. I want my axe back. I won, I won, won, I won, lady. Um, anyways, no. I want that axe, I need that axe back. Give me that. Okay. I'm not talking, I'm not talking about the deodorant. No. Give me. Nope. Okay, this should have opened up. Freaking axe now. Axe now. Gave her a, gave her a weapon. Where is the typewriter when you need it? I feel like there's something obvious again. Is she just gonna come back after me? Missing something? This opens up, but there's nothing in there. <sighs> gonna have to crouch down again, aren't I? Honey, I know we've had our problems, but with the right counseling, we can get through this. Here. Okay, I am 
at a loss for what to do now. I seriously am. The phone. The phone's ringing. It's more of yes again. Yes again. You really shouldn't have really shouldn't have Who's this? Then what the fuck is going on? My name's Zoe. There should be a way out to the attic. Attic. Go there. Now. Okay, Morpheus. I will be right there. Oh, shoot. Figures, yep. Where's the attic? Can't open up that door. Seriously, the door is just... Okay, I know you. Yep, and she's gone. Got the axe, though. That's good. Yes, that's the smart thing in a horror setting. Make this much noise when I... When I... Here's Johnny. Here, here's Johnny. Wait a minute, I'm back again. Hey. That's awesome, okay. Oh, I know what this means too. I can get that darn. I can get to that. Unless something bumps it. Unless something bumps it. Yeah, thank God. Okay, this is going to be the end of part two, guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you have any tips, like non-spoiler tips that you can offer, I appreciate it. And I appreciate your patience. If you like this video, please, a lot. And uh, thank you. So if you like the series, please subscribe. Please subscribe. There will be plenty more to come from. And thank you, guys. I can knock that lamp down. That's, that's BS.